Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to our free to play series in Last and Earth Survival. Today we'll try to progress even further through the story because I still haven't finished here Act 2, and it looks like in order to progress further through the story, we need to work on the settlement. And to be exact, we need to finish building this wall over here, and these are the resources that we need. And I have absolutely everything besides one aluminum plate, and I need four more iron wires. And hopefully we can get all of those things inside of this farm location because I came here prepared. I have here enough guns, I have enough melee weapons. We we have enough food. So let's start looting this place. I'll try to clear it as efficiently as possible because there's no need to waste our resources. And also I need to start gathering some rubber parts and some more ball bearings because our chopper is almost ready. I just need to get my chopper fork and I also need to get a gas tank. Obviously we can get those things inside of bunker alpha. But now I try to spend as least amount of time as possible inside of that bunker alpha because I've cleared it many, many times on these free to play accounts. And uh, yeah, bunker alpha became somewhat of a meme. Still, obviously guys, if you want to progress, Please keep clearing Bunker Alpha because that is the best way to progress in the game. But as I said, I'll try to avoid that Bunker Alpha. I try to progress in the game without Bunker Alpha. It's not like it's some sort of a challenge. Some of you even suggested like starting a new account and playing there without Bunker Alpha. Maybe we will do that someday in the future. But here as of right now, I'll try to avoid Bunker Alpha as much as possible as there are other locations that I'd like to clear. And yeah, we can also get chopper parts inside of the farm location if that barn opens up. So who knows, maybe even today we'll get a gas tank. If we don't get a gas tank, I'd love to get a chopper fork if we don't get those things then hey i'll just cry in the corner and who knows maybe even today we'll get one more aluminum plate because i still need to get it or if we don't get any aluminum plates i'd love to get some aluminum bars because i think i have one aluminum bar i need one more aluminum bar and then i'll be able to smash those aluminum bars into aluminum plates let's also not forget loading this mailbox Perhaps a ticket. Nope, just trash. Just literal trash. You might be like, Sarek, you're joking. No, it is trash. It says like nothing special. You can just throw it away. <laughs> it is just trash. That's what I got. I can't believe it. Whatever. Let's deal with this rotten yokel here real quick. Let's get probably a cleaver. Are we going to wall trick this rotten yokel? Let's go. If we can wall trick things, we are definitely going to wall trick it. So basically that's so you can clear this farm location efficiently. Try to wall trick as much as you can. Also, our next goal is to find a blue box. And I can't believe it. Just check this out. Once again, there are a bunch of those enemies gathered around that box. And there isn't much we can do about it. Okay, there are these stupid rotten yokels. Oh, we can even wall trick these rotten yokels. So that's what I'll do. They're synchronized, so I might as well just use that opportunity. <laughs> Let's deal with these rotten yokels basically for free. I just used up a little bit of my cleaver here. Another group of these schmucks. What have they done to the farm location? Now it's become so much difficult. What have they done to it? They've massacred the farm location. Now it's much more difficult to clear it. You need to deal with these clumps of zombies. Otherwise, all those zombies will attack you at the very end and it'll be more difficult. So there is that. Is that the blue box? Nope, that's not the blue box. Those are just basic sacks. In any case, I'm still going to open them up. Sometimes they can have nice loot. We've gotten some mushrooms. I'll take everything. And plus, we've gotten this aluminum plate. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. I just need to get six more. Ex excuse me, not six, but four more iron wires. And that is it. Then I am ready. Sadly, I don't have enough guns for all of those guys. What is going on? What is this farm location? I mean, we could avoid them. I could show you what's going to happen if I avoid these guys. I mean, all of them will attack us at the very end. That's what's going to happen. So for that exact reason, I'm going to get this. And let's try to deal with these right in Yokos. Oh my goodness. Look at the amount of these guys. At the very end, they would have attacked us anyways. Maybe if I had grenades, we could throw a grenade into that pile. That would be a great thing to do. I really have no idea during which update they have changed the farm location, unless I'm just unlucky. But it looks like now the farm location is always going to have two or maybe even three piles of those zombies. And yeah, I don't really appreciate that. It is super annoying as now you are almost forced to use guns because good luck wall tricking three or four of those Riding Yokels at the same time with Savage Giants chasing. Okay, I'm going to avoid that Savage Giant. No need to wall trick. Look at this, another pile! One more pile of those schmucks. Well, I have to deal with them. I'm maybe gonna get, whatever, let's just break this block. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise. Obviously, they will start attacking us. Yes, they will. Yes, all of them will attack us. Let's deal with all of these right yokels. I mean, the future us will thank us after we start opening up that blue crate. Whatever. As I said, getting guns is pretty easy. All you have to do is just clear Bunker Alpha. And if you don't know how to clear Bunker Alpha, make sure to check out our free to play series. These series that I'm doing here right now, because the first few episodes were dedicated to Bunker Alpha. I have cleared that Bunker Alpha countless times already. So hey, make sure to check that stuff out as I explain everything there, what you need to know about that Bunker Alpha and how to clear it. And you will be rich. Like I promise you, if you keep clearing Bunker Alpha without wasting your guns there, you will get a lot of weapons 
So you will get everything you need. Is that a blue box or is that something else? Yes, that's a blue box. So we have to get the Savage Giant. Okay, it's gonna be easy. They are separated here pretty well. So it's gonna be a very easy wall trick. So yeah, I'm almost sure that the farm location has become more difficult because even on my main account, I keep seeing those piles of zombies. So I've cleared the farm location many times now and it looks like now there are just a bunch of those piles of zombies and there isn't much strategy in this farm location unless I'm just being very unlucky. But hey, let me know in the comments what is your experience with the farm location? Have they changed it or not? Because for those who didn't know, back in the days, all of those zombies were separated. They were not fighting in those clumps. If there were fighting in those clumps, there was maybe only one clump and that's it. You didn't have to, like, clear three clumps. It was a lot easier. Okay, we can get this blue box and let's start bringing it. Except, again, let's not forget the reason why we are here. Obviously, it's not to open up that blue box because it can have here blueprints. It can have some weapons inside of it. Even though, again, you're not clearing farm location for the weapons. You are clearing it to get some blueprints. But we came here for those iron wires. Okay, and I see the Revenger. Some of you would call it Ravager, but hey, I'm telling you, it is Revenger. There we go. As you can see, it says Revenger there. So it is Revenger. As I said many times already, this is probably one of my more favorite bosses in the game because you can just avoid all of those spits. Just be kind of careful as sometimes he double spits. Like here, did you see? He just kind of switched his position. So keep moving. Take your time, don't rush. I've seen some people not even fighting this boss here, not even fighting the Revenger. You can just avoid it, you can just run past it and that's it. It's also a viable strategy. I just like to fight it because you do get some experience. And in my opinion, it is pretty fine. It's not that difficult. So all of my melee weapons that I brought here broke, I guess. Maybe I have a sledgehammer, but I'll leave it for later. I'm just gonna fist punch this Revenger and that is it. Maybe a spear is kind of stupid. Maybe fists are just better. There we go. We have gotten 200 points towards the season pass. We have gotten some of the resources. I hope that maybe in the future they buff the amount of resources we get from that Revenger. I mean the Revenger, aka Ravager, whatever you want to call this dude. The dude's been out for a few years now, so I doubt that they will buff him, but... Would be cool to get something more, right? Because we only get 10 pieces of cloth and that is it. That's like two bandages. And we do have to spend some time fighting that boss. So maybe the smarter thing is just to avoid that boss and that's it. But if you are a beginner in this game, and even if you are a seasoned player, I would still probably suggest you fight that boss because he can mess some things up. So that's why I always fight that boss because it is so easy to forget it. It is so easy to mess things up and then that boss will start chasing you. Plus there will be a bunch of other zombies around you. It's, in my opinion, it's just better to f kill it and that's it. But hey, you can also try avoiding it. That's another strategy. You don't have to do exactly as I do. You can try avoiding that boss and not fighting it at all. Okay, let's deal with these rotten yokels. And there's one more stupid savage giant. I hate it. And we have leveled up. All right, plus we have progressed a little bit further in the past. We have gotten that Glock. Very lovely. Plus, I won't mind getting these iron hatchets and pickaxes because they are not very expensive. But you know what? If you get them for free, plus they go to your inbox, I don't see a reason why not take those axes, right? Let's try to level up. So why do we get nothing? A logger perk. Whatever. Let's get that logger. So there will be that savage giant. How about I try to wall trick it here? I'm going to try something. I don't know if I've tried that in the past, but I'll try to do something else. Instead of wall tricking that dude at the very entrance at that gate, how about I wall trick it over here? There we go, ladies and gents. It works. We have saved a little bit of time, and I didn't have to run all the way back to that gate. As that way, I'd have to go back here from the gate again. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I got hit in the face. That was not intended. And go on, please give me those iron wires because you don't even always get them. If I don't get them this time, I'll be very upset. Maybe we won't even get them. Please give me, give me, give me. Yes, we got them. Six of them. That's nice. They're very common, but sometimes you still don't get them. I remember on my main account when I needed those iron wires, I didn't get them. So it is possible to not get them. I'm telling you. And burglar level two required. Wait, so it's not always level one? What? I don't remember. In any case, let's skedaddle from here. It doesn't matter. I couldn't loot that other room. What I can do, though, is open up this thing. Let's also get another Glock. Let's open up that blue box. Ladies and gentlemen, we have everything for that wall. So today we will be able to progress a little bit further through that story. So before we do that, let's open up the blue box. Let's see if there are many more zombies. What I should have done, though. Wait, let's see if there's another clump of those zombies. I think 
there will be another clump of those schmucks. Or maybe there is in a third clump. There's a third clump of zombies. Look at this. More of those idiots. Whatever. I'm just going to avoid them. I'm, I'm just going to play that blue box. It is better to just separate that clump. It is better to kill those smaller zombies because they will attack you. You will have to use more healing items. But whatever. I am ready for it. Let's open that stuff up. Hopefully the barn opens up and that barn has something interesting. You see, I could have just dealt with those disease wolfos and I uh, wouldn't have to deal with this right now. And yet, there we go. I wasted a bandage. That's all right. There is a bull chasing us. No, 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 no. Whoa, I wasted so many bandages here. I told you guys we had to separate those clumps. And no, I didn't do it. Stupid disease wolfo. Where is that stupid wolf? Where is that stupid wolf, man? I want to just do one more shot. Look at the amount of idiots here. Look at the amount of zombies. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. I used up an entire stack of bandages here already. So when I tell you to separate those clumps, separate those clumps! Fight them! I had an entire armor set here in the inbox. So I might as well just equip it, right? So I don't remember what pile of zombies I fought, which clumps I have separated, which clumps I haven't separated. I know that I didn't kill here a lot of those smaller zombies and now I have to pay the price. Last time when we've cleared that farm location, it was a lot easier as I killed lots of these smaller zombies first before opening up that blue box. But this time I thought, you know what? I don't need to do that. And there we go. Now I have to pay the price. So do as I say, not as I do. It still would have been the same. I still would have used the same amount of guns, but I would have saved some healing items. I think I could have saved like 10 bandages easy. I have re-entered this place once again. Now let's try to gather all of those zombies up there. I am curious if all of them are just savage giants. Oh no, there's one more rotten yoko, but that's fine. Okay, actually there were two rotten yokos, not one. Let's get him, and that is it. We still have an insane amount of savage giants here, so we are still clearing this place very, very efficiently, except I'm sure the developers have done something, and now clearing the farm location without guns is near impossible. Before, it was pretty easy. I still always suggested bringing a gun here because sometimes raiders could have attacked you. So, okay. In any case, it's all fine. I'm gonna wait here now in one spot. All of them have gathered here. Let's go that way. Let's go like that. Now, just be careful. Don't let them punch you because if they touch you, you're dead. You will die here on the spot. That is it. Wish I had the sprinting skill in this account, but I don't. So I have to run there like a peasant <laughs> on my own two feet without running. Actually, I could run a little bit faster. I could have like some sort of a boost. Okay, so sadly, the barn hasn't opened up. That is very disappointing. And what we did, and what have we gotten here? A sports bow, another armor set. Uh,. I'm gonna read that diary, even though I said to not read it. Another... Okay, so they're coming. I need to make some more space. I've just leveled up, but I also need to make some more space in my inventory. So I'm gonna go all the way down, and I'll try to delete some of the things that I don't need. Let's level up this skill to max. There we go. As I said, every time you level up a skill to max, you get a chance of getting some better skills. I won't be able to bring everything. There is some good stuff. So we are back here at the farm location. I think I should be able to take everything with one button. There we go, we got everything. So in our schmucks, I might as well quickly loot these bags here. Why not? They might have some decent loot. And yeah, we got some duct tape, some charcoal. I'm not gonna say no to all of that. Let's take it. So before we progress further through those acts, we've just gotten an airdrop event. So how about I go and loot it? One of the best events. Oops, I just got spat on. I don't like that. But I do like this event. Plus it was on my way home. And here we've gotten a saw blade mace, some planks, some rubber parts, ball bearings that I need for my chopper. We're back at the base and I just wanted to share you the progress that we have here with this chopper. So I still don't have enough ball bearings. I don't have enough bolts, but those things are very easy to get. So I don't even think about them. What we need though is this chopper fork and this gas tank. I really hope to get one of these things today, but apparently RNG wasn't on our side. As much as I don't want it, but it looks like we will have to go to Bodhikar Alpha one day again. So that is it. I am absolutely ready to go and build this wall. I don't really know how useful that's going to be, but I... Let's use up all of these resources. There we go. We just did it. Just with one click of a button. Now let's finalize this thing and boom, we have the wall. So intruders, mission complete. So now we have to talk to Connor. Welcome, mate. There we go. The settlement is safe now. We can go back to work. No one will bother us anymore. Now I need asbestos. I'm sure there's plenty in the sewers. Will you check? So we have to go now to the port location. No way. No way. Whatever. Let's get these rewards then. Connor wants to finish the garage. I don't know why he needs it so urgently, but fine. I'll 
I'll help. So <laughs> we need to start building the garage now. These are the resources that we'll require for the garage. I mean, we already have a lot of copper. For some reason, I have enough copper inside of the inbox. I don't know when we, where we've gotten it from, but we already have 30 copper. I'm sure we've gotten it from the season passes, from some events and whatnot. So, hey, that's kind of nice. We just need to get asbestos. And other than that, these items are pretty cheap to get. I'm sure they have reduced the price of this garage. So it shouldn't be that hard to build it. Wait, I haven't cleared the sewers yet on this account. Wow, I have cleared them on our other free-to-play account. But it looks like I haven't touched them here yet because I don't even have the motorboat blueprint. Okay, so let's get that motorboat blueprint. Let's pick it up. There we go. We have gotten that new recipe. So now we can start working on the boat. Again, I have no idea when we'll be able to craft that boat on this account. As again, it's not a priority as it's not that useful. And there we go. So we need to find a generator. Well, there is a generator here. Luckily, we don't need a chopper for it. <laughs> Luckily, there is a generator here. So let's just drop it. I really thought we have cleared the sewer location on this account, but apparently that was our old free-to-play account. And plus, I've cleared the sewers countless times on my main account, so everything's blurry. Okay, there's nothing inside of the storage. Alrighty, so over here, for those who didn't know, inside of the port location, you can craft these boxes. You can send them and get some random loot here. It's kind of cool, but it does take some resources to send these boxes. And yeah, you also need to know all of these recipes. So I'm not really the biggest fan of deliveries here, but I still think they're kind of useful. So if you have the time, you should absolutely do those deliveries. But now we are gonna clear the sewer location. So if you die inside of the sewer location, you don't lose your items, except if you climb up the ladder. If you're gonna climb up the ladder, I'm gonna explain everything more once we find that ladder. But if you climb up the ladder, you will lose the loot there, so be very careful. So I did bring some of the melee weapons. I did bring some guns. Hopefully everything's gonna be enough here. But I, we will see. Okay, so this ladder is collapsed. I cannot go there. Oh no, another merman. Another merman. How about I use my glocks here real quick? I think it'll be a little bit faster. And there we go. Let's go back to my melee weapon. That's why I brought these glocks and other things. Oh wow, this thing does only 14 damage. We could have probably wall tricked the swamp bloater somewhere. Perhaps somewhere in this corner. I doubt it, though. Whatever, let's heal up again. And that is it. We did it. We have cleared the first part of the sewers. What we need to do is heal up fully. Let's get perhaps a better melee weapon. I don't know. You know what? Let's perhaps get a gun. Let's hold a gun in our hands. Uh, this way, I'll feel a little bit safer. I also want to hold full stack of healing items. Let's go over here. Let's disable that. Let's start sneaking. And let's deal with this dude. I'm gonna get the saw blade mace. I'll attack this guy. And hey, let's try to do this place as efficiently as possible. Okay, goodbye swamp bloaters. And I'm not really 100% sure, but I have cleared the sewer location dozens of times. And I'm almost certain that this room is kind of pointless. You shouldn't even clear that room because you don't really get anything useful. So I'm kind of not gonna bother about it. Maybe you could clear it. But as I said, I won't bother about that room. I am gonna get this Glock just in case. Um, there must be a way to get rid of this goo. There must be a way to get rid of it. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. I have gotten a lot of damage just crossing that thing. Unbelievable. Whatever. I will loot that chest. However, we have some crawlers. That is it. We have dealt with all the zombies. Here we have gotten these terrain maps. Let's read them for now. I'll take everything here. And probably looting this room isn't really worth it either. Yeah, there are just three zombies. So that is it. I'm avoiding them. I opened up that room while sneaking, and yeah, I'll probably just go further. Let's heal up here again, and let's get another Glock. As I said, as always, I want to keep a weapon in my hands. And, oh no, I didn't show you something. We can get rid of this goo if we assemble those pipes, but that stuff is pretty difficult to get. I actually want to heal up here, and I want to go back again. I know I'm wasting my healing items on this, but I just want to look at it here. So this is how we can assemble the water pumps thing. It's not that expensive. Actually, it is expensive. It is very expensive. I take my words back. Because to assemble it, we need to get cement. And you can kind of get cement once you assemble the boat. Maybe there is a way to get cement. Maybe through some seasons and whatever. But yeah, it kind of doesn't really make much sense. Because you have to clear the sewers to assemble the boat. But to improve these sewers to get rid of that garbage, you need to already have your boat. So why is it like that? I have no idea. In any case, we are done with that. Let's open up another door. So before we do this, I want to get... That block, let's get a higher durability weapon. Let's heal up. We have used so many healing items. Unbelievable. Okay, so this thing is closed. It's collapsed. Everything's collapsed. I don't believe it. Okay, so both of those rooms are probably useless. Okay, alrighty. We cannot go up 
as well. Wait, everything's collapsed. What's going on? Isn't on purpose because we are clearing this place during the story mode. That's what's up. That's why all of these things are happening. That's stupid. I wanted to climb up. I wanted to climb up. I used up so many healing items basically for nothing. The sewer location is kind of garbage. Okay, let's get back my melee weapon. We've just sneaked attack this floater bloater with our saw blade mace. There we go. The dude's dead. The dude is absolutely dead. Except before we go anywhere else, let's open up this door. And for real, everything is locked. Like all of these things are collapsed. I don't get it. We could perhaps loot some of these rooms. Wait, I could go up, right? I could show you that looting these rooms is kind of pointless. Look at this. They're just a bunch of zombies and... What's the point? They give nothing. You can just kill zombies there and that's it. So and I'll just avoid it, especially on this account. I'll probably avoid fighting them. Except they'll probably see me because I've opened up the door. So they'll see me now through these walls. It always happens like that. Yeah, they, they have seen me. They have seen me. Whatever. I have these weapons. I will use them on these stupid swamp bloaters. Okay, let's get my skull crusher and let's deal with these swamp bloaters. Swamp zombies, whatever they're called. Goodbye. Sometimes you can open up some of those doors and you can get some glass there. So if you're searching for glass, maybe it is worth it to loot those rooms but i will probably save up my loot instead how about i open up this thing and uh get a saw blade mace okay that's better how about i hide over here will that work oh wow oh wow they're all punching me somehow some way what's going on how are they doing that have they changed something okay that's fine still everything's all right Everything's alright. Okay, so still, Berserker cannot hit us through this wall. I was like, whoa. I've just never wall tricked them on that other wall. I never knew that they can damage us through that other door. Okay, let's heal up. But hey, that's a nice way to deal with this Berserker. There we go. Let's just wait until he jumps up again or he stops punching us. Because look at this. He just hits very fast. And he does a lot of damage. So this is a very nice way to deal with a Berserker. Yeah, I'm sure it's just like some sort of a tutorial. That's why they don't let us climb up those ladders. That is stupid. I really wanted to climb up those ladders. Okay, let's wait until the guy's done. Punching. Let's hit him again. The dude has only 130 health. Okay, the guy has only 40 health, so two more attacks. And that is it. We are done fighting this Berserker. And let's loot this chest. So maybe here we'll get guaranteed asbestos. I don't think we'll get six of them because we need six. And we have gotten four. Plus we've gotten some steel, some electronics. Okay, a hammer. And that is it. Now we have to return back to the settlement. I'm sure the guy's just gonna tell us it's not enough. You have to come back. So hey, those weren't even the full sewers. We've done like only the third of it. Wait, have I even unlocked the laboratory? I might have not unlocked it yet. There we go. We can unlock the laboratory. Look at this. Look at these dudes. So what's all the rush with the opening? The lab K? Okay, whatever. They're going to open it up using their metal cutter. That is it. They'll probably fight here some sort of zombies. And yeah, I'm surprised that I still haven't opened up the laboratory yet. Okay, these zombies, hopefully they won't. Yeah, these zombies go after me for some reason. Well, I'm not fighting them. Why would I waste any of my items on it? That'd be very stupid. That'd be very, very stupid. Can I loot these crates? No, nope. nothing! It'd be cool if we had, like, some planks, some wood. I would definitely appreciate that. But we have gotten nothing. We can touch the bell. And yeah, this will be our first time entering the <laughs> laboratory. I have no idea when we will clear this laboratory on our free-to-play account here. And there are a few reasons for it. Because first of all, it's a pretty expensive place. And second of all, probably the most important reason is it doesn't really give important loot. Like, it's not worth it. I can't open that up. Okay, the door is opening up. Okay, so there are a bunch of those zombies. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Deal with them! I'm not wasting a single bullet on these guys. That is it. So over here, we should be able to open some of that stuff up, right? Using these terminal cards. Okay, there's nothing here. I think once we looted some sort of a trash bin and we have gotten some loot. Okay, so let's gather them. Well, at least they're going to deal with these guys. I didn't even think that today we'll be unlocking the laboratory. But hey, we are at the port location. I might as well just do it. All right, there, there's the shambler. Go and deal with it. Deal with those shamblers. That is it. They're just destroying them. Wish I was getting experience for that, but apparently I'm not getting anything. Oh, wow. Alpha Awakener. We have to remove the protective layer. Shoot. Okay, so they're going to shoot. They'll do everything. Look at the bottom floor. There are zombies there as well. Okay, the thing exploded. That's now how I imagined it. Doesn't matter. We have a lot of work to do. We need to clean this mess up. Check the bioreactor. Can't even imagine what to expect on the other floors of the lab. Yeah, the other floors of the lab are just atrocious. They're just horrible. Wait, perhaps I can go to the second floor. Why wouldn't we go there? I assume there will be a lot of zombies here, though. I oh, know there's nothing. There are no zombies. There were zombies from the top. Now there are no more zombies for some reason. Okay. Well, I am not clearing the laboratory here today. 
Plus, the perks here are kind of garbage anyways. If we maybe had the agility perk. But even then, it's pointless. The laboratory is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Okay, it looks like we need a hatchet. And I might have some hatchets here. Let's go to weapons. Let's get one of these iron hatchets. Except my inventory is full. Well, I've just deleted the golden watch. I don't think I'll need it. Now, let's chop this thing down. There we go. The tool was broken. Whoa, that's expensive. One iron hatchet for for those wines. Yikes. Look at this. That iron hatchet basically has no durability left. There we go. We destroyed it. Is there anybody here? Well, I've cleared this entire laboratory. I used up one more hatchet. These vines are gone. And hey, we have progressed even further inside of that season pass and we have gotten these iron hatchets. So I've used up like what, four or five iron hatchets on that laboratory and we have gotten five in return here from the season pass. So you're not bad as it's always nice to have an emergency hatchet in your inbox. Well, we are back in the settlement. It looks like we have to talk to Connor. Welcome. What's going on? Mission completed. Go to the gas station, get spare parts. Ooh. Wait, so let's get all of these rewards now. And we've gotten another mission, the finish line. The last push is fixing the minivan. Connor is counting on that car. He'll need it when his friends come back. So we need to go to the gas station and I'm sure we might unlock the highway. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So we will have to keep working on the garage and we also need to work on the minivan, which shouldn't be that hard to get as we just need to get some of these spark plugs, some of the truck wheels some glass and that said the rest of the resources should be relatively easy to obtain i did not pick up those asbestos i'm sure some of you were yelling because i came back to the base i started searching for the asbestos i couldn't find them and boom they are over here i'm glad that this location has not reset <laughs> whoa i almost lost these asbestos that would have been sad. So we have progressed a lot through the story today. And to progress even further, we have to go to the gas station. But we're going to do that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check out my Dead Island 2 Let's Player. Click on the second card and go to Resident Evil 4 Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist. And there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.